Aloha everyone and happy Mother's Day to all you wonderful mothers and mother figures and even pet mommies. I'm Edna Matsuoka, Associate Minister of the Konko Mission of Wahiawa, located on the island of Oahu in the state of Hawaii. It's an honor to speak to you for the Konko Church of Seattle Spring Grand Ceremony in appreciation of Tenchi Kaneno Kanisama, the Great Life Force. Before I move on to my main topic, I would like to touch on the significance of the Gotai side of the Grand Ceremony. The Gotai side Konkokyo holds the same important, importance as Buddhists celebrating the Summer Bone Festival, or Christians celebrating Christmas, or Jews celebrating Hanukkah. The Gotai side is so important, we ought to be taking off from work for this day to honor Kamisama and to give thanks for the blessings we receive on a moment to moment basis. Kanisama enables us to live, to work, to play, and to function. The land we build our houses on belongs to Kanisama. The car we drive to work came from the blessed elements of the universe. The sunlight that gives us light and warmth is also Kanisama. If someone asks you to show them proof of Kanisama's existence, just have them take a step outside. The sky above is Kanisama, and the land beneath our feet is Kanisama. The air we breathe is Kamisama. Kamisama surrounds us. Have the Kami, uh, have the Kami doubters take a deep breath in and hold it in forever because they won't be able to hold it in. The Kamisama will want them to continue to live. Or tell them to stop eating because all the food is provided by the blessings of heaven and earth. It's Kamisama. So if they doubt you on the existence of Kamisama, just have them do that. The beautiful mountains, the stars, the planets, and all the creatures are all not, they're not creations of Kamisama. They are Kamisama. Everyone and every living thing is given the heart of Kamisama. All living creatures receive Kamisama's blessings. Kamisama does not discriminate when it comes to these basic elements and blessings of life. Regardless if we are financially stable or having difficulty with housing instabilities. Our whole life is powered by the blessings of heaven and earth. Yet, we think that the sunlight is free, the air we breathe is free, and we take for granted these ordinary days that pass by without extending a simple thank you, Kanisama, right? In India, the COVID-19 counts are so high, they're running out oxygen tanks and they're begging people. But here we are breathing normally and believing we have, have an unlimited supply of oxygen to breathe. Every breath is possible due to the blessings of Kamisama. And only when we can no longer do the things we are able to do, we then complain. Divine blessings follow when you try to comprehend the benevolence and unconditional generosity and love of Tenchi Kani no Kamisama, our great life force. Konkokyo isn't about instilling fear into you. It's a way of life towards understanding the workings of Kanisama and giving due appreciation. That's what today is all about, this Gotai side. You just put everything aside and you want, you're just dedicating just a fraction of your day to say thank you for all your blessings until this very day. And although there's probably no way to repay Kanisama for all of our, of our blessedness, your acknowledgement will be appreciated by Kamisama for sure. So thank you for attending and taking your time out of your busy schedule to attend today's grand ceremony. Moving on to my main topic, a few weeks ago I received a request from uh, your head minister, Reverend Robert Giuletti Sensei, Bobby Sensei, and to deliver a sermon for the Seattle Chokai Gotai Sai. He wanted me to speak about Waga Kokoro. I was thinking, what prompted him to choose the topic Waga Kokoro? What can be obtained by understanding Waga Kokoro? Now, Waga Kokoro means our hearts. It's an ordinary Japanese term. Waga Kokoro. So I have Waga Kokoro. However, Waga Kokoro, putting it into one word, Waga Kokoro, see, you're, there's no space. Waga Kokoro is one word and it's a Konkokyo terminology, meaning harmonious and joyful heart. Our founder, Konko Daijin, took this word to mean both one's joyful and harmonious heart. 
Rama Kokoro is one step behind receiving divine blessings. People pray for blessings, but if we are missing the Waga Kokoro element, you will find it very difficult to receive divine blessings. Have you ever noticed that, in that inconvenient things tend to happen more to grumpy people? The energy is radiated by our spirit, attracts the energy to you, the, the same kind of energy. So when you get upset, things begin to spy, spiral out of control. We stub our toes, we whack our funny bone, we drop things, we get into accidents, we step on dog poop and encounter other inconveniences. We attract what we radiate from our hearts. So our kokoro, our heart is so important, it's even written in our tenji kakisuke, the divine reminder. Kamisama responds to your energy and your intent. Kamisama is energy. Everybody experiences fragments of waga kokoro in their lives, right? Think of the last time somebody was unconditionally kind to you. How did it make you feel? When was the last time you unconditionally helped someone out without expecting anything in return? Sometimes, you know, we open the door for people at the store and, and they walk through and sometimes they don't say thank you to you. Don't let it bother you. Don't let your joy leave your heart. You helped because you wanted to. Practice being calm and appreciate that you are able to help. Have you had an illness or injury you recovered from? How did it make you feel? You must have felt waga kokoro, that harmonious and joyful heart, right? Or how about when you go to your doctor for a general health checkup? They draw your routine labs and you're anxious about the results. And, and then you get a call or like an email or text saying that your lab results are normal. And then you sigh a sigh of relief and you feel this waga kokoro. As humans, we are very fortunate because we get to experience waga kokoro with all our six senses, through our eyes, ears, nose, mouth, touch, and our kokoro, our heart. Think about the time when you first laid eyes on your newborn baby or grandchild. You must have been on cloud nine with the level of waga kokoro and happiness you felt. That's how I felt when a neighbor brought me a rescue kitten to take care of. I was really, really happy. How do you feel when you listen to your favorite tunes? Sometimes I leave work feeling stressed out and I'm heading home from work and I turn on the radio and randomly, it's as if Kamisama were lifting up my spirits, my favorite tunes pop out and I feel that my stress melts away. What, we, what would we do without our ears? I'm so grateful for them. How about when you smell your favorite food? You know, I follow a nose when I can smell my dad frying some karaage. His chicken karaage is extra crispy on the outside and soft and juicy on the inside. Blessed are our noses and our ability to smell and breathe. Oh, and our blessed taste buds. Thank Kamisama for them. You can't enjoy your favorite donut without those taste buds. I work with cancer patients in the hospital and oftentimes the chemotherapy destroys their sense of taste and they are unable to enjoy the, the, the food that they really loved to before and it tastes like cardboard or they feel they can taste a metallic flavor in their mouth and they cannot enjoy foods. Be thankful for your taste buds for allowing you to enjoy countless flavors and textures. Now the blessings of touch. Your fingers are in direct communication with your brain. When you touch something hot or painful, you immediately retract, right? Like, ouch! So there's no further injury. When you touch something soft, warm, and fuzzy like a kitten, you can feel waga kokorone. So, we can feel so many sensations with our fingers, like sharp, dull, rough, smooth, grippy, soft, warm, hot, cold, prickly, slimy, slippery, greasy, slick, tickly, hard, firm, 
flimsy, pressure, numbness, tingly feelings, so many sensations mm -hmm. with our hands and fingers. And they're amazing. And now the sixth sense, our kokoro, our heart. You can feel waga kokoro in your heart when you're valued and appreciated by others. In fact, it is through being valued and appreciated that it brings about the strongest feelings of waga kokoro. But my brother Rodney Sensei and my sister-in-law say this all the time. Work productivity increases when employees feel valued and appreciated by their bosses and peers. And the whole business sparks joy when the boss has waga kokoro. The most rewarding thing for me as a nurse is being told thank you by my patients and seeing them go home healthy and happy again. For my husband, the most rewarding thing for him, he's a teacher by the way, is seeing his students grow up to become successful people of the society and come back to him saying thank you for being my teacher. It's the gratitude, the appreciation. In any relationship, treating each other with value, respect, and appreciation helps keep the relationship in good standing. If you know how it feels to feel valued and appreciated, can you imagine just how happy Kanmi-sama would feel? That is why the Gotai Sai Grand Ceremony is so important because you're valuing and appreciating Kanmi-sama for all that was possible till this day. Kanmi-sama will feel waga kokoro. You are attending not an obligation, obligation, but with sincere gratitude to Kamisama. Divine favor depends upon a harmonious and joyful heart. That is the key essence of this faith practice. It's the universal truth. If you have Waga Kokoro be born within you, you'll be able to receive divine blessings. Again, I'm a registered nurse uh, who works on a medical, uh, medical surgical oncology unit for the past 11 years. Working in the acute care setting, I feel that Kanisama has allowed me to learn and experience many things to enhance my understanding of Kanisama's workings. I had a patient one day uh, who was crying and I asked her what was wrong. And she said to me, I'm going to die. I know it. This chemotherapy isn't working, yet I'm still getting it and it's making me more sick and I'm going to die, I know it. Nothing is helping me, she said. I really didn't know how to console this person, this patient. But I asked her, what do you want to do? And she said, I want to be able to cook for my grandchildren and babysit them. I miss my grandchildren, she said. And then I said, you want to see them again, right? You want to get better, right? You don't want to die, right? And she said, no, I don't. Then I told her to continue to hold that wish strongly, wanting to spend more quality time with her grandchildren and that her grandchildren would be sad to see a crying grandma and that always saying, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. And I told her, your grandchildren won't want to hear that. And then she said, but I'm going to die. And then I told her, yes. And I'm going to die too. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to die, I told her. I don't even know if I'll make it to your age, I said. Just then a hospital aide came in and overheard our conversation. And she said to the patient, that's right, mama, I'm going to die too. And she said, I don't know when I'm going to die. So we both are saying that. And then the patient stopped crying. Then I said, no one came into this world wanting to be born but through some amazing miracle we were given life and we lived it and no matter how long or short that life may be we have been given blessings at any given time our hearts on average beats a hundred thousand times a day for that individual who was in her mid-60s her heart continued to beat without stopping for over 60 years I told her that it's a great miracle to live each day. Then she suddenly said, you're right. There are babies who die soon after they're born. So you are right. I should be thankful for living over 60 years. 
Her crying face turned into a smile, and that's when I knew her heart became waga kokoro. I said, right now you are alive. Every day is like a game of Russian roulette. We never know when we're going to die, but we have to give thanks for all that was possible until this day and look forward to tomorrow. And then she says, oh, so every day I say thank you for this day and I say it the next day and the next day and the next day and pretty, th pretty soon I'm going to be 90? And I said, absolutely. When we become Waga Kokoro, the energy levels turn positive. It's easy to feel the energy that people radiate, right? You know, like a grumpy person steps into the room and you immediately feel their energy. Like, oh, toxic, toxic energy. Yet, if a positive person enters the room, immediately, it's seconds, it takes for you to feel joy, happiness. Positive thoughts attract positive outcomes. Negativity attracts negative outcomes. So be very careful of your kokoro, your heart. People worry about all kinds of things. After taking up a 30, 30 year mortgage, people worry if they'll be able to pay it off. What if they die midway? Then they get life insurance so they don't have to you know, leave a financial burden on their family. People worry about their health, getting checked out every year and anxiously waiting for their test results and not being thankful for being healthy till this day. People worry about catching COVID-19. Asians are fearing the increasing of hate crimes against them. Students are worried about school shootings that have been happening more frequently. People are afraid that they'll get laid off in this COVID-ravaged economy. There's too much worrying and not enough appreciation. If we can appreciate one day at a time and focus our attention on what's still going well for us, then it will take us to the next day to look forward to. Having faith and being appreciative is much like the headlights on the car we drive. Even if we cannot see it past 200 feet in pitch darkness, your faith will take you to the next 200 feet and then the next 200 feet until you reach your final destination. People are so worried about the future that they are not appreciative of the present and all the blessings they have received up to this point in time. And that's where we lose our blessings and we lose the heart of Waka Kokoro. We, as Konkokyo believers, must put emphasis on what enabled us to be alive until this day. Ask yourself, how was I able to come this far? And take the time to remember the blessings that were possible. I know you received blessings too. Don't forget those those things, those days that you received okay. Because we are more blessed than we realize. Not understanding our true blessedness is the lead cause of suffering. Be awakened to understanding all the elements that support us. Then we will feel ultimate Waga Kokoro. Our awareness should be shifted to thoughts that bring joy and gratitude because you know and I know that the feelings of Waga Kokoro can leave in an instant if we are not paying attention. Right? How many of you get that? You go to work and everything seems to be going well. Then towards like the end of the day, you encounter a bully at work that interrogates you or you have to deal with a complaining customer. And then suddenly the harmony and joy you had in your heart, it just disappears and is replaced with upset feelings and hurt. It happens to me too, but that's when I try to correct my thoughts and say to Kamisama, thank you for this day that went good. Thank you for allowing me to come home safely from work. I pray for the ones that are unkind, for they may be going through some tough time that I may not be aware of. And please bless them with your favor, I ask of Kamisama. And I also pray to let me become a better version of myself and let tomorrow be a better day. After saying that prayer, I feel much better. But you know, sometimes, no matter how much I pray, that feeling, it just, the upset feeling, they still linger in my heart. When that happens, I try to take my issue, or I make sure to take my issue to the next level. I go to sensei, sensei, talking, 
Uh, ato okekai is such a blessing for me. Toitsugi mediation. Be very thankful for this feature of Konkokyo. A Toitsugi mediation seat is truly a toilet bowl for our spiritual wastes. Don't hold on to your problems, it's gonna make you sick. You will feel so relieved to talk to Sensei about your problems. And he or she will pray so hard for you, and you will go home with the feelings of Waka Kokoro with such relief. Actively utilize the Toitsugi mediation seat and speak with your sensei regularly. Always have respect for the sensei sitting there, address them as sensei, and you will receive divine blessings because the spirit of Konko Dajin, our founder, assists behind the Toitsugi mediator. Divine blessings can be realized if you have Waka Kokoro in your heart, the joyful, harmonious beings. With that being said, I hope you're able to retain even one little message I shared with you today and the significance of attending the grand ceremony. Waga Kokoro is having a joyful and harmonious heart. Let's practice Waga Kokoro in a way that your joyful and harmonious heart stays consistent. Whether you are with your family, your friends, whether you are at school, at work, and even when you drive, don't be quick to road rage. Have Waka Kokoro. It takes practice. It's okay. I'm not perfect too. I'm still practicing that. We are all still learning to be even a step closer to Kamisama. Waka Kokoro is again the key step to receiving divine favor from Kamisama. Thank you again for listening. Please enjoy the rest of the day.